Look out for yellow bouncy things. Okay, so... I wonder if those... The pickle things, are those pseudonyms that you would use in, like, a divorce proceedings? Or is the AKA the fake name? Like, I'm not sure. Probably doesn't really matter, but... Uh, this is awesome. Oh! The radiator looks lethally hot today. Throw them at buttons. F to equip. Dude, that's so cool. <laughs> this is awesome. A different pill might make me big again. Seriously? Crimp like Nick, but don't break the mirror? Well, that ain't doing it. You know, it's hard jump when your legs are literally inches. Nick's real name is Norbert oh. Pickles. Okay. His agent Virgil yeah, writes most question. of his songs nowadays, as Nick has trouble being any fun at all, unless it's with someone's younger sister. Ooh, savage. Savage burns. I feel like he's gonna get roasted non-stop. Okay, so they're directional in nature, these little bounce things. Boink. <laughs> this is a really creative way of portraying somebody being stoned. Oh my god. Can't die when you're stoned. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> Come to Nikki, my little reds and yellows. <laughs> the voice. Oh, You're a cheater. You're only like birds who don't know the real you. Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. At least I don't have a stupid name like Pickles anymore. <laughs> Damn it. Still stoned. To shag all those birds. Fans expect it. <laughs> you mustn't disappoint the fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good reasons. Good reasons. Let's just see. Is there anything I need to be looking out for down here? I don't think so. Golden oldies. Oh, boy. the amplifier, I guess. I was thinking go box. Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> so dumb. Fun fact. When Nick was young, he fancied himself a poet. There they are. Doing great. Gimme. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> Not so easy to run around on me now, is it? Some birds just won't give a man a second chance. Oh, God. My eyes always sort of demonic. Memory plays tricks. Good thing I have my records. Unreliable. <laughs> Oh, okay, it is damaging her. Melancholic. 
I'm gonna run out though. Oh, cool. Okay, we have unlimited. How is that not hitting? What in the hell? There we go. Oh, look, she's turning into one of those uh, compliment machines. Come on. Melancholic, bad. We hope you've enjoyed your visit. That's awesome. Are <laughs> oh, if that had been the real Petunia. No. No, I, I'd never. Those must have been bad drugs. Yes, bad drugs. Bad drugs. I can't believe... Or is that us saying that? It seems questionable. Nick Love, heck of a show you put on last night. Really felt like the old days. You screamed, you strutted, you tore off your trousers. You most certainly left an impression on the crowd. There were tears. Problem is, Nikki, you were on stage at the Orpheum. You are in the ladies' loo of the tear room, of the tea room, down Oxford Street. Took myself and a couple, uh, or a handful of nonplussed bobbies all night to pry you out of there. And those tears, they were yours, love. You bawled for six hours straight in the station house. First time I've ever seen the actually embarrassed constable. Next time, leave the stagecraft for the actual stage, would you, Virgil? I know you need your pillows, your yellows and reds. But for fuck's sakes, try not to take any blues while you're running through your system. Or better yet, stick to the joy, Nikki. Makes you a hell of a lot more pleasant. You know what? You might have a point. All right. You went home. You're refreshed. Remember last night now? Last night? I mean, how hard can this be, Nikki? You actually wrote it down. But... My lyrics don't make any sense. I mean, maybe if I played them, but it's an electric guitar, you know? You can barely hear it. Yes, if only you could. If only you owned an amplifier, for example. Well, we have one. <laughs> I, I mean, I can't use this one. It, it's, <laughs> it's all soggy. It won't sound right, will it? Oh, for fuck's sake. I want to remember, Virgil. I mean, <laughs> mostly... Oh, this amp just isn't good enough. Virgil? Oh, you're gonna haunt me too. Buy a new I guitar amp from the Bates you. Music Shop? Suppose I could buy a new amp from Bates. I assume that's our way out then. Yeah. Rooms to let. Nick fans welcome. It's like a rent. The Bobby's wife? Oh no. What have we done? Dearest darling Nikki, that beastly hag at the music shop has bought up all the win a date with Nick raffle tickets. It isn't fair. I know you'd love me. If only you met me. <laughs> Please ask your manager to nullify the raffle so you can go on a date with me instead. Yours forever in passion, Topsy Burn Jones. Top CBJ. That's all I'm saying. Do not worry about my husband's being a constable. He is quite free thinking and we have an understanding. Uh huh. Sure you do. Jeez. He's mine! Uh, you promised you'd call! I forgot about your true I fans, die with did you, you? Nikki. Okay, so those don't do a lot. Oh, can I only take one of these at a time, maybe? The camera. Jeez. Hey. 
Here we go. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and we're back. This must be the guitar shop. Yep. You know what gave it away? It was all the guitars in the window. Dear Diary, every day I love Nick more. I wish I could go back in time before Nick married his wives and show him that I'm his soulmate. How I'd love to be the first woman to have believed him. Get them early and they think you love them for themselves. Which I do, of course. I can't help if I've known... Only known Nick as a rich and famous star. How very dull the hubby seems in comparison. Why'd I marry him? I suppose I wanted to be settled. Would I be a terrible wife if I left him to follow my heart's passion? Surely a proud man wouldn't want to be with a wife who fancies another. I'd be doing him a favor by leaving him for Nick. Jesus. <laughs> Not even playing stairway. Come on, dude. I'm like night bearer. I, I mean bear nighter. Oh, my bear nighter. I serve you. What the is? Oh, I'm just trying to buy an amp, mate. <laughs> Needed that bad deal? And mine's the only music store in town. Hard luck. Why do you hate <laughs> me so much? Uh, aside from the usual. I don't like musicians. Oh, it's a good Funny profession thing. for you. Bloke in the music industry took a tumble in the park last night. Twisted his neck right around. What music, bloke? Newspaper blamed it on too much bubbly. But I asked myself, why would Bobby swarm around the scene a trip and fall? I, uh, I have to go. My missus and her ladies say that you just pretend to be bad. But I says, what a man pretends to be is what he is underneath. Huh. Interesting. Return to the hotel. Well, now what? I had another amp. Manager Wait, what stole the it. Frick? I shouldn't have to pay for my own drinks. Oh, I could steal it back. Yeah, good call. Non-flushable notice. A number of Nick's fans appear to have turned sour on him. It's imperative that you do not flush your inflatable Nick dolls down the loo as this clogs the island's sewage system. Viable. Eat up. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Oh God, I'm afraid. What the hell? Who's there? Trail of Destruction. This guy might be a problem. Yeah, We're good. <laughs> Jesus. Is there anything else down here? There might be. God, there's letters for us everywhere. Dear Mr. Virgil Dainty, thank you for your recent note. You're correct that you've already paid a bill for damages to the pub caused by Mr. Nick Lightbearer. However, that bill was for the month of June. The more recent invoice is for damages caused in the month of July relating to the dart throwing incident gone awry. Please remit 900 pounds immediately. We're a disaster. I wonder if this is going to result in like a uh, sober Nick Lightbearer. Realize it doesn't need drugs to be fun. Manager says he's going to pinch Nick's amp. Hold it hostage. Nick can't play his concert without it. I used to fancy Nick, but now I've seen him up close and... Oh, God, it's on again. Bloody manager probably stashed my amp in his office. I need a disguise. Maybe a Nick lookalike contestant. Nah, they're on to that one. Are they? Are they?
What's that tune? Oh, it's like if there's a secret back here, that's where it would be hiding. Wrong. I wonder if that tune is the one that we uh, have written down in the journal. Oh, a bellboy outfit. Yes, that's the ticket. No one ever really notices a bellboy. It's sort of sad, really. You know, to think what life choices led you to that. <gasps> Ouch. Jesus. What about our face? We thought about that. Don't you tell anyone. Don't be a panic. Uh oh. I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. Hey, it's just me, the bellboy. With a guitar. The golden god of rock and roll. I yeah, we were. To be safe, I'd better get the manager out of the way. Maybe. I can call him on the PA system. I'd like it that discreet. Dear Constable, I write this to you as a man under siege. If any of the crowd of rabid Nick Lightbearer fans should discover these scribblings, I fear that they shall tear me apart. But I can stand this no longer. No man should have to. The hopelessly shredded upholstery, the sink stuffed with brassiers, the quarts of vomit our cleaners had to painstakingly remove from the carpeting, the endless empty pill bottles, and that's just the Wonderland suite. Each year, myself and my poor beleaguered staff are compelled to deal with the reckless and destructive cyclone of hedonic anarchy that is Nick Lightbearer. And each year, right on time, that manager of his pays his bills in full, damaged included, so that I have not else to do than grit my teeth. But Lightbearer will slip up. I know it. And when he does, you will hear my call. And it is my dearest hope. Oh, and it is my, yeah, it is my dearest hope. Bring the full weight of the law down upon him. Murray Davies management. If you get my meaning, can't have a panic on the biggest weekend of the year. The freight funds will sink us. Huh. Uh, hi, Jane, the manager. Um, we <laughs> have an emergency. Uh, uh, uh a fan, fan, fan. He's stuck in one of the vents. Your, your fault. Like we're adding the echo. Um, please get her out at once. One, one. That's funny. Oh, that ought to keep him busy for I mean, a while. You know, after all this is over, maybe I should become an actor. <laughs> that was nice of us to do. There was a fan stuck in the vents from the beginning. So. Ha! Ah, I finally put that Nick Lightbearer in his place. No more yes sir, no sir from me. It'll be, I'll be calling him. It'll be call, it'll be him calling me sir. If he wants his, if he wants him amp back. Can't play his concert without it, can he? I know that Bates bloke won't sell him another. He hates Nick just as much as I do. Can't trust my staff not to snitch though. Too many Nick fans. I'll just keep the amp in my room where no staff's allowed. The key. Can't wait to make that dandy eat crow. Okay, so we gotta find a key to his room. Pure amp your manager's room. Okay, no key here though. This is open now. Bellboy! You there? Yes, Constable sir. Constable Turner needs his bag taken to his room. Absolutely. Uh, yes, sir. Oh. oh, did you hear about the phone stuck in the fence? Um, someone with authority needs to find her, don't you think? Is that a silly Nick Lightbearer mustache <laughs> you're wearing? <laughs> yeah. Sir? Against regulations. Take it off. I won't have staff acting like that cheeky good for nothing. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Um, as soon as I've taken the constable's bag upstairs, sir. I don't need to remind you that this is a hotel of discretion. You're not to look inside the constable's bag or remember anything you see in the room. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> not to worry, sir. Um, <laughs> I've got a terrible memory. Really the worst. <laughs> Get on with it, then. I'll better go and see about that fan. And as the bag just glows right in front of us. Well.
You're gonna point up the stairs? Yeah. To the management, I must report my suspicion of foul play. Six contestants in the Nick Lookalike contest have gone missing this weekend. I do not believe your staff's reassurances that these lookalikes have merely eloped with female guests. I believe someone is trying to rig the Nick Lookalike contest. As third runner-up at last year's event, I fear for the sanctity of the competition result, as well as my personal safety. Of course, there's always one. There's always one. Jesus. Oh! It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, maybe. Notice Nick fans, it's strictly forbidden to sneak into Nick's room in a laundry cart. In happier news, Miss Tabitha, Tabitha Sweet is recovering nicely from the bleaching. We wish her all well. Yikes. He's back. Like, no. Yeah. All right, let's go up. I just want to see if we got it. I hope I win a date with Nick. Darling, the rules say no girl who's already shagged him. Who are they gonna find? Who are they gonna find exactly? <laughs> Lovely day for it. I don't see much happening up here, so we're probably just gonna take the elevator. Right as rain, right as rain. Totes. Foggy Jack got another one. Oh, anyone we know? Some bloke who didn't like Nick. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's all right then. Come on now. I didn't mean it. You don't sound nothing like me, Mum. <laughs> Let me in, and I'll make it up to you. Oi, you, you there. Quit skulking and drop that bag in my room. Okay. So, it's a manager. Can now, Stu, you're gonna miss the whole convention. Everyone knows the bigger a fan you are, the more likely Foggy Jack is to snatch you. And I'm the biggest Nick fan there is. Oh, you're dead then. All right. Oh, I'd like to take a crack at Foggy Jack. Oh, I bet he's not so hard. I hear he pulls out your guts and stretches them like they're bloody guitar strings. Oh, that sounds fun. Okay, well... Oh. oh. I can't even. What in the hell? Oh, there we go. I didn't notice that when we walked by before. Huge fans. Oh, what's this? To the constables, could you please give this letter to Foggy Jack when you capture him? It's most urgent that he get it. Marianne Dashwood. Dearest darling Foggy, I know they say you're bad, but I think you're just misunderstood. You only do these things because you're sad, but I can make you happy. I do hope the constables take you alive. I shall visit you in prison. You'll see we are soulmates. All my love. XOXO Marianne. Okay, so he said definitely don't remember anything that's in here, but like... Okay, reporting officer PC Shelley, detail of incident. Passerby reported sighting male lying in the arms of a Nick Lightbearer statue, apparently in a drunken stupor. Upon investigation, said male was determined to be slightly deceased and partially dismembered. <laughs> Fits foggy jack pattern. Advise caution to avoid alarming populace. Respect crime wall. Foggy jack. So he's real. Oh, that means... Oh, dear. Oh, no. I don't want to think about it. Well, I wonder. He's holding something up. Wait, what? What was that? 
Oh, it's this guy that... Okay. This is the one that's triggering for whatever reason. Okay, let's look inside the bag. Modeling strings. Oh, they make my guitar. Can serenade more every... fans. That's helpful. A note as well. Love letter. My darling dashing Burnsy. I need you. I need to hear you coming to me from your sad crime room through our tunnel of love to my bed. Can't wait to feel those shiny brass buttons give way to my fingers. Your tender touch is the only way I'll ever get through another one of those horrific convention weekends. The management of your loins. <laughs> okay. Cool. Vibe the Bobby's room. I'm sure it's got to be this, right? Yeah. Oh, you've got a secret lamp. Is that so right? A tunnel of love <laughs> connecting this room and the managers, is there? Weird. 